Now, the other thing we have to talk about is percent change. So in this case, we're trying to figure out how much something change as in terms of a percentage of the original value. So if something goes up or down, how much did it change? For instance, um, if I had, it's 30 degrees now, and then in two hours, it's going to be 50 degrees. I want to know of what percentage of 30 is it actually increasing. So when I set up a percent change, the thing that I need to do is first figure out the change. How much did it actually change? So in this case, I went from 30 to 50. So you always take the second thing. That way you know if it's an increase or decrease. So I do 50 minus 30. And 50 minus 30 is, of course, 20. In order to do the percent change, all I have to do is the actual change over the original amount. Whatever that happens to be. In this case, that would be 20. So if I'm going from 30 to 50, my change, as we determined before, is 20. And the original amount was 30 degrees, which is a pretty steep type of change, really. And then if you work it out, it comes out to be um, 0 0.67 repeating. It's actually 6 repeating, so it goes on forever. But let's do it in the hundreds. So say 0 0.67, and I'm going to turn that into a percent by multiplying by 100. And that gives me 67% is my change. It's pretty simple to do this. Uh, there's two types, by the way. There's an increase, of course, or you might be asked, what's the percentage of decrease? We have two problems that we're going to do based on these issues, and then we're going to move on with our lives. As I was searching online, I found that the price of the Adidas F50 Eddie Zero Primes are ori were originally $350 but are now down to $300. What a nice savings for a pair of cleats. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do is figure out what is the percent change. The first thing I need to do is figure out um, what the absolute change is or how much it actually changed. So we're going to do 300, which is the new sale price, minus 350. And if you work that out as a subtraction, you can see that they went down $50, which isn't bad. So in order to do the percent change, we take this total change and divide by the original amount. Change divided by original amount. So I do negative 50 divided by 350. When I do that, I'm going to get, sorry, negative, obviously it decreased, 0 0.14. Now as I do this, I need to make sure that I take this number and convert it to a percent. So I'm going to go over here and do it. Ran out of room over there. 0.14, I'm going to do times 100. A decrease of 14%, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you think about $50, that's kind of a lot of money. So uh, percentages are relative, obviously. Uh, let's do one more, and this one obviously is going to be a, an increase. And we're going to talk about sponsorship for a second. Uh, the Nike Mercurial Vapor Superfly Cristiano Ronaldo edition. Uh, I just estimated that the shoes themselves, based on the quality of the materials and everything else, probably originally were cost about ninety nine ninety nine to make. Um, after Ronaldo signs his name to the dotted line for the old company there, they actually increase in price and their selling price, which you can pre-order, I think, um, $359.99. Quite a little pretty penny there for the old uh, Cristiano Ronaldo version. So... Let's talk about the percent change. The first thing we need to do is to determine the amount of change, which is something you'll have very little of after you purchase this. It might be the only thing you have left. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the second value, which in this case is the 359.99, and do a subtraction. So 
I'm going to do 359. Sorry, let me slide that over. I'm going to do a 359.99 minus 99.99, $260. And that's an increase in price. Obviously, if you do the math and it doesn't make any sense, like you got a negative 260, it probably means that you started with the wrong one. So make sure that you're actually choosing the correct value. So my amount of change is 260. And that goes over the original amount. The original amount, of course, was $99.99. So I do 260 divided by $99.99. And it breaks out to be 2.60. But once again, I have to convert this to a percent, even though that seems like, you know, that's pretty big. I multiply by 100. And my percent change is 260%, which is a large amount of change in terms of price. But that's just how things are. Golf clubs work that way, whoever signed to the company and that whole thing. So the value and power of celebrity, I suppose. So as a quick reminder, when you do percents, if you're trying to go from do a problem like what percentage of, you want to set up your pyramid, put your part on top of that pyramid, and you want to put your whole and percent in the bottom two sections of the pyramid. If you're doing something where you have a number on top and a number on bottom, you divide. If you have both the numbers on the bottom, all you have to do is multiply the two things together. You probably want to convert that percentage into a decimal before you do any of this. If you are doing a percent change, all you need to do is make sure that you have your uh, original amount and your new amount, and you subtract them. And you want to, of course, go from uh, new amount to old amount to see how much it's changed. And then from there, all you have to do is simply divide by the original amount, and that will give you the percent change. So I hope this seems really easy. It should be really easy, so good luck.